Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to how to create uh, how to use Shape Controller in uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. It's it's very simple, uh, simple. <laughs> it's very simple. Okay, first you have to download the Visual Basic Power, Power Pack. So uh, I'll provide the link this link in the description so you can download this. After downloading that, you have to install and then you have to add tab, name it. Uh, Visual Basic Power Pack, and then you have to add choose item. So you can find this shape there. Okay, so straightly uh, go over here. So I'm going to use uh, a rectangle shape here. It's gonna be like this. Another one of those shape I'm going to use here. So as you can see, uh, it's not transparent. So you can see this uh, when you run the app. See, uh, it's not transparent. So you can see this. So, uh, so in order to make it transparent, uh, first of all, we have to go. And change the back style from uh, transparent to opaque, and then the border style uh, from solid to custom. So it will be vanished, like uh, it won't show up here. And same for the oval. Uh, we have to switch style from pardon uh, the solid from it will be uh, custom, and the back style from transparent to opaque. Okay, so I'm going to use checkbox to show those shapes for the checkbox checkbox one i'm uh, putting the name is rectangle okay and uh, for the second checkbox i'm uh, giving the name as oval okay uh, so here whenever you click this checkbox it will show the rectangle and when you uh, deselect it will on show up here so we're gonna use the code here for rectangle first we're going to if statement for if we're going to use um, checkbox one checkbox one dot check it is for like when you click it will be checked okay if it is true then the statements will be uh, checkbox one rectangle shape one rectangle shape one dot using back color because uh, it will show the color there I mean if it will fill the color to color I'm going to use um, green Can see let me run this one as you can see uh, when I click rectangle it will show here but I have to uh, work more because when I'm selecting this one it will show but when I'm deselecting this one it won't go anyway so I have to use another code there if checkbox one dot checked is to false rectangle shape one dot back color goes to I'm using the color uh, I'm going to use this color, this color, background color, uh, so I you know the name, it's dim gray, so the color will be dot dim gray, okay, so now I will run this again, as you can see, uh, now it's working and now it's gone, okay. So same for oval uh, I'll do this again you can simply <laughs> copy 
but I'll uh, show it for you. So this checkbox two. If checkbox two dot checked is equals to true. So the step next comes here. Um, oval shape oval shape one dot back color is equals to color dot red. The same uh, for unchecking it if checkbox to checked is equal to false oval shape oval shape one dot back color equals to color will be dim gray we're done uh, so now I run the application again so you can see uh, when I use rectangle I mean I click check rectangle it will show up when I click it it will be gone when I click oval it will show up here and it will be gone so that's all uh, thank you for being with me if you have any questions feel free to ask me thank you so much